In an earlier video, I showed you how to export or save as a MP4 for our After Effects uh, composition. But if that does not work, here is our second option of rendering as a smaller file other than doing a QuickTime animation. So we're going to go back to the composition that we do want. We're going to export this out. Make sure that your working area is right at the last, at the end of your last composition. Go to the composition and we are going to go to add to render queue. The previous video I showed you for the MP4 was using the media encoder, but we're going to use add to render queue. And right here, when you go to the best settings, we're going to leave it as is at the quality best resolution full. So nothing really changes here. The lossless is where we want to make the difference of what we had before. We're going to keep it to QuickTime. The video output is not going to be animation. We're going to change that format option and we're going to change the video codec to be the Apple ProRes proxy. Now as you can see there's lots of different types of ProRes 422. There's the XQ, LT, and Proxy and I'm not an expert on all of this but if you go to the Apple website they will have information to break it down to kind of explain to you when is the best time to use these. So we are using and we'd like to use this one. This Why do we want this? Because it's the highly compressed and it uh, really keeps it to the low data rates of the best full resolution. You might be able to use this one too, but then if you're going to go any higher quality up, it would be these. So we want to stay to, like I said, a low data rate with full resolution. So once we pick the Apple ProRes 422 proxy, make sure you hit OK. And then we, now that says it right there, we're going to make sure that we have no audio because we do not have any. And then we're going to hit OK. And then from at this point, we're ready to hit render. So we're going to click on render. And I already made the destination to be my desktop. You can decide where you want this. It, make sure it, it's you pick an output to your destination before rendering. Now, right now, you can see it render and it's previewing at the same time. To make this seem, you know, to speed this up, we're going to click on and have your cap locks on, which stops the previewing and just focuses on the rendering. So again, make sure you select our video codec that we did with the Apple ProRes proxy and make sure you select your output too before clicking on the rendering. If you, you know, whatever reason mess up, you can always stop and redo the render queue and set it up again. I'm going to let this render out. The render is complete. It obviously took about five minutes or so, which is normal for the size that I had and based on the files that I quality wise. Right now I'm going to uh, minimize After Effects but we're done with the rendering and we're going to take a look at that actual Apple ProRes 422 proxy file. So it's a, still an MOV file and that file size is 814.7 MBs and then the earlier video tutorial that I showed you was how to do an MP4. So ideally we would like to do that to be the MP4 at the video codec H.264 because much smaller size, 167. And if we take a look at the original file size, it is actually 20 gigabyte. Working with a much smaller compressed is going to be easier for us. Again, try to aim for your MP4 file format and watch that video that I provided, or you can do the Apple ProRes proxy as, as your option backup.